So for your first house, we have the King of Wands. So this is the, the way that others perceive you. The King of Wands is somebody that is, um, he often reminds me of the Emperor, except the Emperor is more, you know, um, laid back. This is a go-getter, this is a trailblazer, and this is also an entrepreneur. In this situation, I do feel it is somebody with, like, executive power. It's somebody who is um, pretty capable, competent, and enthusiastic, okay? So this is the aura that you are projecting into um, the psyche of those around you. So you're, you are very, very well received for this week, okay? Others want to be with you. They think you're exciting, and there is an element of, like... Um, well, there's a great sense of enthusiasm, but also, like... Um, a healthy dose of risk taking. So it's somebody who's very, very charismatic. So it looks amazing. At the same time, um, I do feel in general that, um, you know, being a water sign, this is an opposing energy from you. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I do feel that you are going to be in put into situations that stirs your passion or you're going to be around people who brings out this side of you that you've never, you know, knew existed. So you're, first of all, I do feel that, you know, water signs are very, very deep, but also very suppressed. So in this environment, you must be around a lot of people that know you very well, that you're comfortable with. So you're able to let loose the emotional depth and that's able to come to the surface. So overall, this looks very, very healthy. It looks very healing. And whatever it is that you're doing, I feel that the people around you are the ones that are able to like um, activate this side of you. So surround yourself with good people this week and you know, just make sure that they really honestly care about you. So this is a very good card. So in terms of your fourth house, which, like I mentioned, it is what is required to bring about a sense of familiarity and also emotional stability. And it's also the environment that you're interacting in. It's also, you know, the, the family, but also the environment that you're interacting in. We have the six of wands in the reverse position. Okay, so this makes sense why you are feeling so elated. Um, so the, the people around you, I do feel that... Um, you're going to encounter people who are kind of like going through a period in their lives in which they're not completely, you know, it's sort of like people who haven't really um, achieved success yet. So you're kind of like in a leadership position in which you're showing them the ropes. They look up to you a great deal. Hence, you know, the the charisma, the the attraction that they feel towards you, mainly because you're very optimistic at this point. You know what it's like to hit rock bottom, and you're dealing with people who might have like a um, either low self-esteem, and you're able to uplift them out of this funk, mainly because you project a very happy, go lucky, trailblazing, and entrepreneurial spirit, and you give them hope. Okay, so in this environment, I do feel in your home situation. There might be a little bit of trouble in terms of like, um, I guess if you even live at home with like a relationship partner or you have like family members, children and things like that, I do feel that for some reason you're not going to be around the home environment that much. And um, it feels like a lot of you are kind of out and about, bouncing around, having fun. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I do sense that um, the home is there, but I don't feel your presence within the home very strongly. And a lot of you two might be transient in which you're kind of like bouncing around one city to the next. So home is just, you know, is not the physical structure, is rather where the heart is. So you don't really feel this deep rootedness anywhere. And, you know, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that either. So I do feel a sense of a lot of travel is indicated uh, in the cards for this week. So let me see if there's anything else I can pick up here. You know, the six of wands in the traditional tarot, it does indicate victory here, triumph. And um, in terms of the fourth house, I do sense that... Um, you know, like I, I mentioned earlier, you are a water sign. For this month, you're exhibiting the characteristics of a, a fire sign. So what I would say is, 
in terms of emotional fulfillment, a lot of you might be pushed out of your comfort zone in which you have to um, go around and, you know, um, mingle with people and you don't really like small talk that much. I mean, you're very good at it when you have to be, but you prefer like having, you know, one-on-one -on -one high quality and, um, you know, s substantial deep conversation with people and you would rather do that than have to mingle and make nice and make conversation. So I do sense that in that way you feel a little hesitant about, you know, emerging emerging into the crowd and making conversation. So it is going to push you out of your comfort zone a, a little bit, mainly because you are going to have to interact with a lot of people. But overall, you are making a very, very positive impression on um, other people. So it looks favorable. So in terms of your seventh house, which deals with partnerships, and it deals with, um, let's see, partnerships, romantic or business. We have the fool in the reverse position. So a lot of you might be with a relationship partner that you've known from the past. So for example, you might have like gotten together in the past and somehow things didn't work out. So this is kind of like a do-over type of card. Instead of going the fool, instead of going to forward with something new, you are actually going back to somebody from your past potentially or the past is potentially cycling through or a lot of you are contemplating you know in general about the past thinking about the past and thinking about how you could have done things differently okay so there's nothing wrong with that and in general there's a very enthusiastic energy about you so I wouldn't say that you're kind of like moping or pining for the past you're just revisiting the past in an emotional in a mental way in order to make sense of it and in order to not be mired in the same mistake in order to heal and in order to move on with your life so it's a really beautiful energy a lot of people from your past could potentially cycle in for this week you might have interactions with the people from the past and you might be even tempted to give it another try a lot of you might have even given it another try and realizing you know that it actually works out really well hence you feel very passionate you feel very like um like I mentioned, the people that you're dealing with, they look up to you a great deal. So this is potentially a relationship that can work in general. So in terms of your 10th house, which deals with work finances, we have the three of wands in the reverse position. So this is interesting. Um, there is something here that needs to be revisited in the work front, okay? So we are starting out with the one, ace of wands, and then we escalate to six, and then we go back to three. So what I do sense here is like, you know, there's something that needs to be reworked in your work environment in order for you to get the ultimate payout that you want. So you might have started the week feeling very, very enthusiastic. And then there's a lot like a lot of work, maintenance work, like very mundane maintenance type of work that you have to take care of in order for you to restart. So there's yeah, the, the cards are all corroborating the same theme with the fool in the reverse. Something needs to be revisited for sure on the work environment in order for you to get things rolling the way that you want, in order for you to get the financial payout, the success that you're hoping for. So the only the cards overall indicate, you know, a, a reworking energy. But overall, you're in a very enthusiastic, carefree type of mood. So you might not do it until the very last minute. I don't feel Scorpios in general will abandon or renege on, you know, responsibility. So that's not the issue here. Um, what I am getting, it's a king energy as well. So I wouldn't worry about, you know, overextending yourself or being overly optimistic because I don't feel that you have that problem. You're actually very competent and you do take care of things in a very orderly, in a very responsible manner. So let me see if there's anything that comes in in terms of, you know, what specific area needs to be re-examined here. Okay, there is a an element of timing here and I do feel in general, if you look at this card, she has little helpers coming in and there's a clock at the bottom. So there's an element of timing. There's an element of waiting for something to come to fruition before you can take the next step. So in the meantime, you know, instead of like waiting 
around for it, you are going to go and enjoy the rest of your life. You're going to go devote your time elsewhere so that you can come back to this situation when the um, when the timing is right. So it's a work situation with a very strong element of season, timing, or something like that. And she also has like a lot of little helper birds around her. So you, a lot of you could be, you know, employing other people who really need, you know, work. For example, for those of you who are like employers, you are hiring a bunch of people on and you're taking them on, you're taking them under your wings, you're showing them how it's done. And as a result, you know, this situation itself, it's going to pay off in due time. That's the message that I'm getting. In due time, in due time, it is going to pay off because there is a very strong element of timing here. So overall, Scorpio, a very, very good week for you guys. Um, let me know how this plays out for you, and I wish you the best weekend ever. It looks very promising. It's nice to see you break out of your shell a little bit. So I'll see you soon.